Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to create a particle system with Pygame. It's actually much more simple uh, than it sounds. I also thought that it was very hard to make particles at first, but it's actually quite simple. Particles are actually just a lot of objects which are close to each other, which get smaller over time and move uh, uh, to a different location. And to do this, we can uh, just create an object, which will be a particle, generate a lot of them with some random values, and that's it. So you can see I have set up here some basic uh, Pygame code, which will just initialize uh, the game loop and create a window. You can see if I run it, there is a window opening up. You can uh, create this yourself, just pause the video or if you already have it set up. But anyway, let's start coding the particles. So we will make a class, which will be particle, because we want our particles to be an object. And in the initialize function, we will be passing in some very important arguments. So the x pos of the var of the particle, the y pos, the speed on the x axis and the speed on the y axis, uh, the uh, radius, and the color. And uh, we can set these variables now. So set dot x x set dot y y set dot x val x val set dot y val y val And yeah, uh, now we will only be needing one method slash function in our game object uh, class. So just make a function def render, which will take in the argument self and win. Um, so basically what we will be doing in this function is adding the adding speed to the x and y. So the particle doesn't, doesn't just stay in the same position, it moves. Uh, subtracting from a radius, so the particle will be getting smaller until it disappears over time, and finally drawing it. So first let's add to our x and y um, x val, not del, and subtract from the radius 0 0.1, and now finally let's just draw it. So we will be drawing a circle pygame.draw.circle. The first argument needs to be the window. The second one, the color, self.color. And the third one will be a tuple. You can think of it as a list with our x and y. And the last one will be the radius. So now that we have this, if we run it, nothing will happen because we have just created our uh, class. We are not calling it or creating any particles. So uh, in our game loop over here, let's get the position of our mouse and make the particles follow our mouse. Uh, you can you don't have to do this if you want, for example, there to be particles when your player jumps or something, you can do that as well. So let's just get the position by game mouse get pause. And outside of the for loop of events, we will be creating another for loop. So for x in range, a random number of variables from, I don't know, 15 to 25 sounds good. And let's create them. So particle will be equal to particle. And the arguments x will be the first element from our position. Basically, the position will look something like this. And the first one, which is zero, will be the x and the second one, which will be one will be the y. So the first one, then the second one, then the speed on the x-axis, which can be a random number, but we need it to be more specific, so this doesn't go very far away. So let's just divide it by 10. And our speed on the y-axis, which can be from minus three to minus one, so it doesn't, so it goes up kinda. I'll also be showing you how to add gravity to your particle later when we finish the basic part. What other variables do we need? A radius, which can also be random. From 2 to 5 is good, or 2 to 4, but I'll just leave it 2 to 5. And our color, let's just make it be white for now. 
I'll be showing you how to make it be a fire effect, you know, uh, with cool red, orange, yellow, that sort of stuff later. And let's make a list of particles up here. Particles will be equals to this list. And particle dot particles dot append particle. So we will be appending in this empty list our old particle. And let's um, also make sure you're capping the FPS at 60 or you have a system to uh, make the, so to make it not go too fast or too slow. Um, now, if we run this again, nothing will happen because we are not calling our render function to draw the particle. Let's make a function uh, outside of the particle object and call it draw particles. And in this function, we will be looping over each particle and drawing it. We don't need any arguments because we already have the window defined up here. So for particle in particles, particle.render on the window, the window argument. And if the particle.radius is smaller than or equals to zero, we will be removing it from the list so it doesn't get drawn anymore. And let's call this function in our game loop below the uh, plate, the code which we is making uh, the window black. So draw particles. Now let's run this and look at this. It worked. This is very fun to play around with. You can do a lot of stuff and make your game look much, much cooler. So now I'll just be showing you how to make gravity apply to your particle and also after that uh making a cool fire effect but if you're not interested in that then you can just uh, uh go and work on whatever else you want so anyway let's add another argument here which will be gravity and it will be optional so just make it be none and self.gravity will be equal to gravity now in our render uh function we can uh, check if the gravity is not equals to none. And if it is not, we can add it to our y position. So if self.gravity is not equal to none, then we can add to it. So self.y, uh, uh, yvel, not the, the y speed, will be plus equals to self.gravity, which will be a number. So let's just add here an uh, optional argument, something like, 0 0.5 and run it and you can see the particles are falling down because now they have gravity this is also really really fun to play with and very satisfying so um let's make a list of colors now so we can make a cool fire like effect so colors will be equals to um a list of uh colors which will be in rgb red green blue so uh let's make uh red one of the colors which will be 25500 uh another color will be orange which if i'm not mistaken is this i have it copied somewhere and um uh, gold slash yellow which is this Okay, now instead of uh, here when we are creating our particle, instead of making the color be white, uh, we will be picking a random color from our colors list. So if we, if we run this, also let's remove the gravity. It doesn't really look that cool with fire. And here we have it all set up. It looks really, really cool in my opinion. And you can do a lot of stuff with this. And it's really not that hard at all. Like you just saw right now that it's pretty simple, actually. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, also, thanks for uh, 90 subscribers or 89. I, I don't know how many I have now, but thanks for all the recent support. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and or like. And anyway, thanks for watching. The source code will be in the description and uh, the pinned comment, by the way. Goodbye.